Hey everyone, how's it going? So I have another product here from Pimp My EV. This is actually a new product to replace that cup holder. So if you've seen our videos in the past, this is a door cup holder and we have it on both sides, front as well as the rear. So let me show you. The rear ones are white, so it comes in black and white. The difference with this one is a lot deeper, much deeper than this one. This is a little shallow. People have been complaining they can't put a large or XL cup, super size cup in here. This is to, to fix that issue. So again, from Pit My EV, we got a code in the description of this video. And this order actually comes with four now. So you can actually get four instead of just two. So one for each door. Let me just show you quickly before we install it what the difference in size. Just just look at this thing. So it's gonna sit a little bit more flush down like this. And this will be able to hold, for example, a Vente cup from Starbucks or a large size from fast food chain with no issue. You don't have to worry about it tipping over or the problem I have is not that it tips over. If you have such a large cup, it actually sits a little too high and it blocks your rear rear mirror. But for let's say a grande cup is perfect. Grande, so medium size that is, it will sit right there, perfect size. But if you put a sport bottle in here, it sits too high. So this, not only that it will prevent it from tipping over, you have such a large cup, it's also more sturdy. And it's also sit lower. It doesn't interfere with anything down here because you have all this real estate. This also is a clip-on and you can take off when you don't use it. Let me show you how that clip-on looks like. So this is, the piece that sits on like that, okay? Behind there, that is. So we're gonna take this off and install this and just see what the difference is with this deeper door cup holders from Pit My EV. Okay, so I'm zooming in here. Hopefully it's clear enough. They do provide you with the torque screw and the torque wrench. So you don't need any tools for this. Anyone can do this. You basically just go under here and there's a screw underneath the door switch. And you basically just wiggle it in. And once you find the slot, you have to go at an angle, okay? So I'm trying to do this without looking. But of course, if you're installing it yourself without recording, you can just tilt over and just see where it lies. And then just turn it counterclockwise. With the older version, you actually can take this off too. So this comes off when you're not using it. And I'm just taking off the bracket that holds the cup holder in. All right, so you can reuse the screw that came with the smaller cup holder, or you can use the new one. Okay, it's the same size. Actually, I take that back. I take that back. The older one is, is a little fatter on the bottom, so you do have to use the newer screw. So not a big deal. The new screw looks good as well. It actually looks more like stainless steel instead of regular aluminum. Um, I mean, not aluminum, but regular steel. This shouldn't rust either. All right. I'm glad that they provide four cup holders now. So you don't have to worry about getting two set. Let's place that 
side. This is their new mount bracket. It is plastic versus metal. So this should sit flush like that. And they actually contour with the actual trim. So it doesn't put as much stress like the old one did. Not that it caused any damage, but you want to be careful with the older one because those were actual metals um, that has a sharper corner. So this one, they actually thought about protecting your trim, which is nice. And again, just put that torque screw into the slot and then just go clockwise now. And each door should take no longer than a few minutes to install. So we'll be doing it for all four doors. Um, I can't say enough how often we use the cup holder. Almost every every day, every time we use the vehicle. So it is useful. It's not a gimmick at all. Here's the new cup holder. This should just slide right on just like that. Oh, it actually has a latch here, so it locks in. And then when you pull it out, you're not using it, you can just pull it out like that. That's how it looks like when installed. Looks, looks like it came with the vehicle when you have the cup holder in. So, definitely a lot deeper. Um, so if you like the more less obvious cup holder uh, you can get the slimmer one so they sell the slimmer one half the size or you want to go big you can get this deeper one um, we'll probably stick with this one because you can you can place a cup um, a cup much deeper down let me go get a a cup um, a fast food cup I'll be right back all right so i am back I have a medium size cup here from Canes. See how flush it sits with the actual door trim. Now here's a larger tumbler. So it sits in there perfectly. So now it sort of sit flush with this door trim so it won't block or protrude. Um, blocking your actual rear mirror uh, versus the old one this will actually sit way up here okay um, so if you have a tumbler you want to get a deeper one here's a cane cup so we'll post a link where you can find this very convenient that is a lot deeper now you don't have to worry about it protruding or blocking your view your rear mirror view that is thanks for watching remember to subscribe catch you all next time again pit my ev promo code in the description of the video as well